Hi, Damien here from Power Diary. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and configure your automatic appointment reminders. So to do that, we head over here to Setup um, and we click on Configuration and Reminders. That will bring us to this page here. So Client Appointment Reminder Settings. You can have up to three reminders um, go out uh, ahead of time for each appointment and you just set the uh, the template that you would like to use, so the content of the, the reminder um, and the timing, how long before the appointment you'd like um, it to be sent. And that can be anywhere from one day all the way up to seven days prior to um, an appointment and you can choose different templates uh, to send, so different messages to send. So perhaps if you are sending an email reminder seven days ahead of time, you could just uh, let the person know that uh, there's a an appointment coming up in seven days and um, to make sure that they have that um, booked in and scheduled. Uh, so like I say, up to three reminders, you can edit the content of the reminder um, or the template by clicking on this little uh, pencil symbol here. This will actually take you to the underlying uh, template that is being used and you can uh, edit um, these. You can also add new templates so if the ones that your account uh, comes pre-configured with um, are not suitable you just go to this um, tools communication templates um, and I'll show you right here, you can then just add a new template and then that will become available um, for you to use for reminders. So if we were creating an SMS template, we'll click SMS and save that. So I'll just ju jump back now to the reminder configuration. So it's just asking me to make sure we can leave without saving. Okay, a couple more options I want to show you on um, this page. So over here we're talking about reminders that are triggered um, automatically, um, but there might also be circumstances where you want to manually trigger a reminder. Uh, and the system needs to know ahead of time, or uh, it makes it easier anyway, if you are triggering a SMS or an email reminder, which template you would uh, like. Uh, to be sent. So this allows you to predefine, hey, if I'm sending a reminder manually, and you can um, do that at any time from, um, from the main calendar page, uh, then it knows what template that you can um, actually use. You can also select a template um, that is sent that are sent to clients whenever a new appointment is created. So you might create a, a template to say um, just confirming that you've uh, you have a new appointment booked for this time and date, and the system will automatically send that. Now, if we head over here, you'll see a couple of other um, options. So we have appointment reminders that would be sent on the weekend are sent on Friday. So what this allows you to do um, is to, if you toggle this and save, it means let's say you have appointment reminders going out one day um, prior to the appointment. So for a client that had an appointment on a Monday, if um, the reminder um, setting was one day ahead, they would actually get that reminder on the Sunday. Now if they needed to cancel um, that appointment, then them um, contacting you on a Sunday to let you know may not be that helpful. So you have the option here to have all the reminders that were due to be sent on a weekend actually sent on the Friday instead. And that means that if they did need to cancel a change, you've got a much better chance that they will contact and you'll know about that during business hours instead of them trying to contact you on a Sunday. The other option we have here is that um, you can the, the system can automatically um, process the response uh, to SMS reminders. So if a client replies yes or no or confirm or cancel, for instance, the system can actually read that and update the appointment. So it can show that the appointment has been confirmed, for instance, if they replied yes, or if they replied no or cancel, it can cancel the appointment and notify the clinician and your admin um, team. So it has the capacity to do that, but if you don't want it to be uh, automatically cancelling appointments or confirming them, you can actually just um, toggle this here to off and, and save. Um, and that way the system won't automatically cancel appointments um, if, um, if the person replies uh, no to, um, to the reminder.
A couple of other things I'll just quickly mention here, um, and these aren't so much about automatic reminders um, for appointments, but um, other functions or, or, or um, key, key dates, if you like, um, that the system can generate and show you a list of. So reminding you about client birthdays, so you can toggle that, that on and um, can have a birthday message that is um, preset to be sent to them. Um, you can have a reminder when a recurring appointment is about to uh, to finish. So again, we can kind of toggle that on, and that way you can be alerted to that. Or you can uh, be reminded when a client uses the last appointment, perhaps in a set of appointments that they have booked or a um, session pack. So there's some really um, some really handy features there that just help you stay on top of the administrative side of um, managing a practice. Now if we have a look, because um, this is really setting the way you want your account to work at a account-wide um, level. If we want to drill down, we can actually change the way that the reminders operate for individual clients because the setting that you use across your account may not be suitable for a particular client. So if we um, go to Jackie for instance here, I'm just going to double click Jackie to get straight into her profile. It's just a shortcut. Um, we can go here to appointment reminders and we can change this. So let's say Jackie lives in an area where there is very poor uh, um, cell reception or mobile reception. We can change um, her reminder to an email and perhaps she needs to know so, you know, four days out. So we can just edit that reminder setting just for her so that it doesn't, um, so she's not receiving the same reminders as, uh, as everyone else. The other thing that you can do, and I'll just click on the Power Diary logo to get us back to the calendar page, but you can actually adjust the way a reminder works for a particular um, appointment. So let's say here we've got Jackie, we can see there's a blue bell to indicate that a reminder will be sent. We can see over here um, that that indicates the reminder is Let's say for some reason we don't want that reminder sent for that particular appointment. We can just toggle that off and we see reminder will not be sent and save. And the reason that we would do this, um, perhaps Jackie happened to phone um, the day before about something else and just confirmed on the phone that she was coming to that appointment then maybe we don't need to have a reminder go out to Jackie as well um, to remind her of that appointment. So it just allows you to turn it off for that appointment, but then for her next appointment it will um, resume as normal. Okay, that's uh, it for me for this video. Watch.